Jay Wharton. 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 Jay Life treat me well, man. I mean, you know, it's I'm here. Let's just put it okay. like that. I'm here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How How about you, though? Life is good so far. So far. So far. You know, especially with this pandemic. But it's good. But so it's good for me. I would say you working. <laughs> you getting more work. So yeah. So are you? <laughs> no, I don't want some fun. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go right into music. Let's do it. Let's, uh, probably work with you one of the longest, right? Shit. About what? Six, seven years, almost. It's been okay. long, it's been a long yeah. time. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Six, seven years. Yeah. yeah. What you got coming up next? Ooh, true beat. No, not true beat. Told true to self. That's what true the album's self. called. Yeah. True to self. You heard it. True to self. True to self. And if I change it, don't please don't hurt me for it. <laughs> but right now it's true to self. Um, twenty track LP. Um, still in the process of Put writing work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. How many we do today? Like three, four, four. Yeah, four. So four. yeah, I'm getting busy. Twenty tracks. Um, still in the process of writing it, but mm. you know I'm writing and recording as I go, so that way I can actually finish some cool. this time. So cool, cool, cool. Yeah, man. Yeah, I know you change your mind every five minutes. It seems how I said it. And it's <laughs> yeah, but it's crazy because like they say, I read this little horoscope thing on my whatever, and mm-hmm. they basically said like geniuses change their minds a lot, and they like to dip and dip and dabble into a lot of different. Mm-hmm. And that's literally what I do. Like not to toot my own horn, but welcome to my world. Because I'm always <laughs> switching stuff up. I'm always building something. I'm always, you know, talk your now. Shit. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man. Um, and I agree. Like it's just like I don't know. I feel like people who are creators as us, like mm-hmm. we d- we dive into so many different things that it's kind of hard to stay on one thing. You're right. These days, anyway. But I told myself, I said, you know what? Write and record as you go. That way, when you actually finish the. You can say it's a project And I already had the name Like from a while ago But I actually started living more Going through certain things Relationships Friendships Whatever Like I, I'm i taking all of that And just Putting it into this So That's what's up man Yeah It's been a long time coming That's what's up That's what's <laughs> up Welcome to the big leagues I guess you say Yeah man First It's gonna be the official first album That's what's up man Yeah So how's work How's work 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 Horrible Horrible <laughs> But you're getting a paycheck though Right I mean you're still Staying afloat If y'all are watching this too at work This isn't This isn't Malik This is Elix <laughs> right here But I'm gonna just go ahead and say this Of course You know The paychecks is cool Yada yada It's just always that thing Of working for somebody else That kind of drives me crazy mm. But not only that But I feel like my job To an extent Hinders what I actually want to do Right So it's like Instead of me being a full-blown artist and just doing albums going on the road and performing and yada yada i can't still do that but i'd have to check in with the boss of a job and that's the only sucky part about it but other than that i mean my bills get paid because of it i'm here because of it so i mean to an extent i'm thankful but i I hate work (laughs) i know how you feel i promise you i know how you feel right I, i went through that my whole life I always wanted something more I wanted something greater But you had to go to work Yeah, yeah dues you, you had to pay your dues mm-hmm. And that's what a lot of uh, I don't want to say young minds But that's a lot That's what a lot of people Have to go through Their entire lives Yeah and a lot of so, young minds but, Aren't really appreciative of it either They I notice that Yeah like I They'll that. get a good job And What happens is Like of course Like of course nobody Wants to f-ing work For the rest of their life But what happens is They'll get in that position to where they have something that actually betters their lifestyle. Right. And instead of taking advantage of it and then leave, mm-hmm. they just full blown say, "What? Well, I don't like this. Shit. I'm gone." Yeah. Which that was me when I was younger, but you know I'm 24 now, and I'm looking at life way more different. Like I got that I actually want to do. So for me to okay. do that, I have to remain on that slope until I say, "Okay, well I can break off from this now and do whatever." Right. But, right. Just like you said, you gotta, you basically gotta, we gotta start from somewhere. True. So, true. True. That's facts. Yeah. So. <laughs> I said facts. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been around you all a lot. <laughs> yeah. So. I'm, I'm really trying to think how long it's been since I've been out here. So I came 2016. Don G brought me here in 2016. Okay. So it's 2020. What's up, Don G? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, Don G. 
<laughs> I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> he, he'll know when he sees it. Okay. But no, <laughs> shout out to my brother Don G, man. Shout out to all the artists, really. Shout out to Mark Dog, um, yeah. Pineapple. Shout out to Winter Chase. Just shout out to everybody who's doing their thing, man. I ain't got no hate towards anybody. But I want to ask you something since I'm here. All right. <laughs> so, where do you feel the state of hip hop is? And only I'm gonna I'm tell you why I asked you that. But okay. as as of right now, how mm-hmm. do you feel hip hop is? You know, is it progressing? Is it declining? Where are you at with it? Hip hop as a whole, the way I look at it is, it goes through its transition every five years. Mm-hmm. But since it kind of migrated in, itself into this new era, with all that's going on, mm-hmm. it's, it's kind of stayed on the same platform. Okay. So you got the genre of more like the trap influence Mm -hmm. slash, I don't want to say old school hip hop, Mm -hmm. but hip hop. Mm -hmm. So where my mind is, is you have to really sift through it and try to figure out what you can kind of relate to. But as a whole, it's not dead. It was on life support before. It really was. And I think what it was, it was the major record labels, they were trying to make up their mind on what their next move was going to be what was the next sound what was you know but what i did notice is you used to go to a certain studio to get a certain sound Mm -hmm. now when you listen to music it almost sounds like they're all recorded at the same place right so technology has kind of gotten to a plateau yeah so what separates the men's from the boys is is the skill level now yeah so unless you have that particular sound not not necessarily or I got, we got the New York sound or the Detroit sound or the California sound. You, you see what I'm saying? Or, mm-hmm. or the England sound. You know, now it's more or less, do you sound as good as everyone else? Okay. So where my mind is from a engineer, producer point of view is it's kind of nice to not have so many combinations of things. Okay. You can kind of focus on more or less the artist now. So you would say that hip hop's in a good space? Yes, actually. I would. I mean, not, not, not that I think this pandemic has... It, it needs to go away. It needs to go away. For sure. But what it's done is it's, it's made the corporate world readjust itself. Because as you know, hip-hop was always underground right. before it hit the mainstream. So now they can kind of catch up with each other. They can kind of learn each other. It's kind of like a president in office that knows nothing about poverty. He knows nothing about the lower class or the middle class. Mm-hmm. But he knows everything about upper class. Mm-hmm. So, of course, he's going to speak... To the people that he can relate to Right Everyone else kind of gets left out Yeah So then everybody gets kind of upset Well hip hop Was kind of that Lower class Slash middle class And that would be like now, Mainstream and underground basically. Right Right Now you're seeing it kind of Plateau a little bit mm-hmm. It's gonna change again mm-hmm. But I, I think honestly It's, it's not dead it's Not even close Alright right. <laughs> So I'm gonna give you my opinion I like that answer too Cause okay. you actually gave me A little bit of a new perspective But I'm gonna tell you Why I personally feel like it's declining and this is no shot to anybody who does this type of music Mm -hmm. but basically where my frustration lies with hip-hop right now is the overall message right so we have artists such as you got your j coles you got your jids the wale's the big shines i can go i can can give you the whole list all day but what i'm saying is we got artists that actually stick to that craft right so then you got rappers like once again no shot if you like these people or whatever (laughs) But you got like the baby, um, little baby, which he speaks on some real stuff sometimes. So I can't necessarily put him fully in that category. But you got certain artists who draw more attention to the bull rather than speaking on the real. And to me, that that just doesn't sit well with me. So and then when you get, OK, let's say you get a J. Cole, like a new J. Cole who comes out the blue. He's mm-hmm. not going to get that recognition because that's not what's selling right now right which brings you to the labels so at the end of the day these labels are generating a bunch of like what happened to the talent what happened to actually being able to spit a 16 and without fumbling on the radios when they actually freestyle what happened to it's just what happened to the overall essence of hip-hop that's where i'm sitting at with it but okay when you said basically you feel like you feel like hip-hop is bringing new energy basically and I mean, to an extent, put it like this. The way it's going, hip-hop could eventually change for the better in the next couple five years. But right. from what I'm seeing in certain artists, mm-hmm. See, it's, I'm here It's with interesting because it. you're looking at it from an artist slash artist mm-hmm. point of view. I'm looking at it from a, the creator side, the, the creator side, yeah, the, the producer side. Right. <laughs> so when you come together with both of them, then 
there's still a life support. It's not completely off it. Yeah. So what I was basically saying was, it's not dead to the point to where everybody's gonna stop cold turkey. Mm. You know, there's artists everywhere. There's, there's, there's always somebody wanting to do music. There's always somebody who's going to do music mm-hmm. or do some form of entertainment. Like we were talking more when, when we're in the lab. Mm-hmm. Um, artists forget sometimes that this is entertainment. Right. So there used to be a, a genre like that where I come from, the Generation X, where we kind of lived what we were talking about. Yeah. Now it's to the point to where now feelings are kind of top of the food chain a little bit mm-hmm. and there's more acting involved. Versus real life. Right. Which is okay, but when you go out in the streets and speak to those people who are out in the streets. They're gonna not they're not gonna believe right, you. Right, they're not gonna respect you. Exactly. So it's like it's like you gotta pick and choose. Do you want the music to reflect who you wanna be? Or do you want the re- music to reflect where you are right now? And that's where it stands. Yeah. That's really where hip hop stands at this point. It's like, are you faking it? Or do you, you know what I mean? I feel that because that's what I had to do with my music, just like we was talking about in the right, lab too. Right. Like, I was rapping about a lot of shit that I wouldn't say that I wasn't going through, mm-hmm. but I literally, okay, like for example, on One of Ball, people, like my people fuck with that heavy. Like they love that song. Okay. But for me, I love it, but it's like the shit that I was talking on there is, let's be real, it's not realistic. I don't got a Benz, I don't got none of that. Da, da, da. <laughs> I don't got millions of dollars that I can just blow like Carter Pewter Smith. That is rich <laughs> family guy y'all know what i'm talking about but i, I was talking hella <laughs> like oh I, I got money like carter pewter smith wrist froze like an article blowing like all that i'm like i don't own that but i was talking about because i mean from my standpoint mm-hmm. hopefully one day i'll have all that so that's why i was speaking in that term but at the same time i was talking as if i had it now and that's why i was gotcha. like okay to me this is a little unrealistic so that's why i push my music towards this stuff i'm putting out now like Okay. balance and just making this whole album just like i'm able to be me without having to sugarcoat nothing and go. i can speak on things that actually mean something i can actually talk about my life from a real point of view and now point of view mm-hmm. versus dropping some that sounds like it came from fantasy land or right so well i think that's where that gap comes in mm-hmm. and what we're doing right now fills that gap mm-hmm. because like i said a lot of people they want to relate to everything because that's what we're taught to do right but if you say something and then they see you not portray that life or you, maybe you shoot a music video and it doesn't kind of coexist to what you're talking about in the song mm-hmm. that's like uh, you know <laughs> yeah so <laughs> so people what's the word vicariously i guess <laughs> live. you just use the big word <laughs> vicarious <laughs> they they it, they live we live through one another yeah. so through music we have a lot of uh a lot of weight of our, on our shoulders too especially mm-hmm. when a bigger audience starts paying attention right so uh, that's that's a reflection of moving forward of learning mm-hmm. it's, you know, so. <laughs> it's a heavy topic for me man it's just, I just feel like I'm so passionate about this shit. so there's a lot of times where I see artists out here not in this alright in the city of Hinesville Georgia I'm just gonna be 100 there's not a lot of artists who, who portray their real selves they portray this that they see on TV or that they see Kodak Black do or that they see whoever do but it's not them mm. I grew up with some of these people. So okay. for me, I'm looking at them like, okay, some of you might, I don't know everybody's back history. I don't know everybody personally, but from the people I do know mm-hmm. and the people I've seen behind the scenes and a lot of that I see that I'm not going to speak on, okay. it's just not that lifestyle that you, you know what I'm saying? It's just two different people. You're on the mic portraying this when you're really like me, okay. <laughs> a nerd <laughs> who plays video games, goes to work, comes home, raps, yada, yada, whatever. Mm-hmm. You're that same person, but when you get on camera or when you get on the mic, I'm shooting this, I'm robbing this person, I'm yada yada. Okay, like okay, it's cool to entertain. We get that part. <laughs> like at least, at least on the song, say, oh, I'm just joking. But like seriously, like it's just like certain things that I see going on out here is the reason that a lot of people don't get along out here. Instead of yeah, yeah. instead of being this fake person who talks about this and hangs around this group of people because you want to look popular mm-hmm. just be yourself and just collab like you know this personally for me i collab with almost everybody out here yeah that's true that's just, a fact. just because i'm not the type of person to somebody because they're hotter than me mm-hmm. i never cared about that i just want to make good music that's yep. it so yep. when you got 
this whole persona that they be portraying, yada yada, that's where the beefs come in. Mm-hmm. And then when the beefs come in, that's when people don't want to work together. Then when people don't want to work together, it causes more confusion and it basically the bag for everybody. Camaraderie. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know how much money people could be making by working together? Yes. Literally. Yes. This, this I, would be a gold mine. You know that. I've been uh, <laughs> preaching the same things over and over again, just like when I tell everybody, anybody who knows me, mm-hmm. if they smoke, I'm like, smoke's bad for you. John G. <laughs> 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 so, I mean, it's just, I always try to give a positive message to everybody that I work with. Mm-hmm. The difference is, is the response that I get in return is rarely the same. It's the same, but it's rarely the same because we all speak the different language. I've said that on just about every podcast I've done so far. Right. But it's real. And talking about this area, I think real, people really need to focus on the craft of it. You know, your life, it ain't going to, it's not going to go anywhere. You're always going to have your life. Yeah. And that's usually what reflects your music. Mm-hmm. Well, if you think about it, let it stop there do the music and let it stop there you don't have to go out and act on it you don't have to go out and do all these certain things because there's consequences to it mm-hmm. and this is a small town or a small town mentality and everybody literally watches everybody because there's nothing else to do exactly so unless you're an old head and you know you've been <laughs> you've been there done that but yeah <laughs> but my, my point is is going back to what you were saying reflecting on what you're saying mm-hmm. um it's it's near and dear to me because trying to get people to think on a positive note before or after you've already released your music or put something down versus them going out and doing something stupid. Mm. And then I might get a phone call from someone in law enforcement or something like that saying, hey, such and such did this, mm-hmm. you know, right, they, you know, you know beca- beca- well, a lot of them, they, they try to speak to them through me because they know I work with them on a different level. Mm hmm. And trying to keep them out of trouble versus just everybody hating, you know, you know, F the police, this, blah, blah, blah. You, know, you know what I'm saying? It's like mm-hmm. there's people behind the scenes, including myself, that are doing more for artists in this area than they'll ever know mm-hmm. or ever care to know. Mm-hmm. You know, and like there's people who have gone to rehab versus going to jail hmm. based on, you know, based on what they what they should they should have gone to jail. Yeah. But to try to help that person out, you know, so it, there's a lot going on with music. So, I mean, I, I say I'm retired. I've said that before, but really I'm not because mm-hmm. this this is a lot of work. It is like it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, you're good. You're but good. No, you're good. music is something you can't retire from. No, I hate, I hate no, to say it, but you no. can't. No, <laughs> just be calling me. Just be calling me. Man, look, because I said, because there's been plenty of times it's like, man, I want to just, I, I want to stop this mm-hmm. shit. Catch myself writing a song I, five minutes later. I stopped music three times. So I'm gonna get personal, just a little. Just a little. I stopped. I stopped music three times in my life since I've been on this planet. Damn. And that's because I've been married three times. Damn. So each time, everything, every achievement that I made, everything that I that I knew was had become part of that person, mm-hmm. part of that wife, because that's what I was taught. That's why I, I thought that's what I was supposed to do. So it was like, no, it doesn't matter when I achieved it or how I achieved it. I achieved it because she makes me better. That was already in my brain. I used to think so like then, that too. So then my first divorce is like, okay, I sold all my gear. I turned my back on everything. I wouldn't even leave the house. Then all of a sudden I'm like, you know what? I'm over this. When I got over it, I finally, you know, looked out the front door and like, let me let me go open the studio. <laughs> let me <laughs> let me start working again. So then the second time came around, which was karma from the first time. Mm-hmm. From the first marriage. Right. So then that was just fight after fight after fight and that drained me and i'm like okay here we go again we're back in the room again so i did it again <laughs> said no because everything reminded me of all the negative stuff uh-huh. then the third one that's that's kind of shaky that was you know i got back from iraq and i think that was more taking advantage of the situation because anyway that's getting too personal my right. point my point is is the third one i learned from the last two Mm-hmm. So did I get rid of everything? No, I actually upgraded. <laughs> right. You know, I actually, I stopped for a little while, just just a short period of time. But artists wouldn't let me. <laughs> I put that way. No, seriously. Yeah. Seriously, artists wouldn't let me. They were, they were blowing me up. They were calling me like, "Hey, let's get in the studio. Let's work." I never told anybody why I stopped, but they did. I, then I lo- relocate. Now, like, oh, we like this spot better. We never liked it when you were with old girl. 
Like, why didn't you say this in the first place? You know, you know, we, we want to step on your toe. You know, you know how it is. Yeah. You know, you see, you see somebody with somebody, you want to tell them so bad, like, hey, leave her alone. People Shame. did, people, you know, it's funny because people <laughs> did me the same way. Like, certain females I've dealt with in the past, mm-hmm. which I'm not going to say no names, but they be like, Man, I don't know, bro. Like, I feel like she da 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 da. da. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting here thinking, like, man, whatever, man. You know, young love, whatever. Right. And right, I'm gonna do me. Yeah. <laughs> and then when shit hit the fan, homeboy, I told you so. Why didn't you move me out the situation <laughs> or slap the shit out of me or something? Mm-hmm. But yeah, I feel you on that. Oh, I feel Neither. you on that though. <laughs> That's what I'm like, but when it comes to this music, man, you can't quit. Like, there's no. It's if it's either in your blood or it's not. Exactly. Really. And the who doesn't, don't have it in their blood when mm-hmm. they quit it's over with right because who do this for real mm-hmm. say they quit be back at it later i know the same group of people and i've seen them i've seen them do the solo thing i've seen them collaborate with the wrong people then i've seen them try to do the solo thing again it's like back and forth and finally they get their own studios and they try to evolve they try to do all these things but they miss one one element Master one thing at a time. Fact. Literally, just get good at one thing. When you're good at that, move on to the next. Mm-hmm. But they, you know, it seems like they're trying to get good at everything all at once. Right. But they keep going in a circle. I'm like, Ugh. you can't call anybody and tell them what they should or shouldn't be doing. Mm-hmm. Like nobody wants to hear about themselves, so you can only show them. So I'm like, okay, well, so maybe through what I do, when I'm helping other people, it'll help them. Right. And you see it. Mm-hmm. You see that motivation. You see you, and, and that, that's to me. That's all positive, right? That's all. That's all a good thing. You know, you, I hear everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, literally, I hear everything. I don't respond to anything, mm-hmm. but I hear everything. Not because I want to. Not because I search for it. Because I work with everybody. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so it gets back to me, and you know, I hear certain things. I'm like, okay. So everything I do is strategic. Literally, mm-hmm. everything I do, and it's all to help someone. Visually or audio, audibly, have a voice. Right. Great. Yeah. You know all the personal stuff and you know taking stuff to heart, stuff like that. Like, no, I really don't. I'm. I got enough stress as it is. Right. <laughs> like to, to let somebody affect me like that. Like, nah. Nah. Uh, I mean, you do. You do. You do enough out here to where it should motivate people to even to move in that same light. Personally, and what I mean by that, thank you. Basically, thank you're you. welcome. But what I basically mean by that is like, okay, you're giving all these people a voice, and the last thing they should be doing is for one, okay, it's basically like me giving you ten dollars, and instead of you taking that ten and getting something to eat, you blow that <laughs> jewelry or whatever. Like, they that's basically what some <laughs> of these artists do. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm eating too. I don't miss meals, bro. <laughs> I'm missing one. <laughs> I missed one this morning. You, you threw me off. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was getting some deep, <laughs> man. Nah, but um, real. <laughs> so basically, what I'm saying is, you basically give people a voice, and some people either stick with it and learn from it and keep going and grow. Mm-hmm. You got them who, you know, you say the same too, and yeah, uh, yeah, just drop. Yeah. I mean, there's a couple times I've been on that same little, on that little plateau of going like this, but. You know, I've had my share of groups and yada yada and all that. Yeah. So, but right right now, I'm in a group too, but it's more. You are. Yeah. Royal Rejects music group. That's new for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I told you that. No man. <laughs> you remember the song I did? I can't say the song. The song I did <laughs> that we um pushed old boys verse forward a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So Recently. That, yeah. Okay. So in the beginning, I said double RMG. I didn't know what that meant. Yeah, that's Royal Rejects Music Group. That's I figured someplace in the song you're gonna tell the definition, but you never did. <laughs> so that's just some shit we say. Like when we say double RMG is uh-huh. basically Royal Rejects okay. Music Group. But, okay. Um, when did you start that? I want to say two months ago. Okay. So we got the logo and stuff already. Now we're just working on getting it copyrighted and nice doing nice. a lot of shit behind the scenes. Speaking with that. of which, what about this clothing line that you were doing? The with the E and everything. Yeah. Oh, I'm still working on it. I just got to get because um I just got like a little um. A little what what do you call them? I guess a little teaser, whatever. Mm-hmm. I got like a little because I got a different color now, so okay. it's like black with a white hoodie. I'm trying to get different colors in, okay, before I start launching them again. So gotcha. right now, gotcha. like the one I gave you, uh-huh. that was the only color I had. 
So oh, now, okay. you know what I'm saying? I'm changing the logo colors up and mm -hmm. trying to do seasonal. So like when Halloween comes, you'll have an orange and black one. Okay. Or when Christmas comes, you'll have a green and red one. Like just you doing anything on social media to put it out or anything or not yet. I want to make sure that the foundation is built first. I don't want to just smart man. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to just put it out there and then all of a sudden some happens to where I can't put it out. That's gotcha. what I've been doing with these albums too. <laughs> I'd post like an album cover uh -huh. and boom, something happens with. I either beef with the producer or, that, or yeah. the beat maker. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Some just goes left and I can't do it no more. Then the right. fans are wondering, like, what the f Why you ain't put. Look, <laughs> some of it is my fault because I do be changing my mind, but a lot mm -hmm. of the time, it just, just goes left sometimes. So, Can I make a suggestion? What's up? Whenever you work on a project, have a ghost project along with, like, have two projects going at the same time. So if one thing, one don't work, you always have another one to bounce on to. You know what's funny? What? I'm doing it. You just said you're releasing 20 songs. That don't sound like it. Oh, that's 20 <laughs> songs. It's 20 songs, but I got another project. Okay. But I'm messing with you. But no, no, no. I got you. But nah, but the other project, I'm not going to lie, is just the EP. Okay. So either way, like something major is going to happen if that doesn't fall. Like I'm a, I got, I got hella songs. CJ. I know. <laughs> you telling me? I know. <laughs> I'm talking about written though, not recorded. No, oh, Jesus. So that's what <laughs> I'm on, saying. Man. I mean, I, I mean, it's just me. It's I know. Just, I mess with you. But trying nah. to give you motivation. Trust me. With me being, if I went in there and counted how many songs are on that hard drive, you probably be sick. Don't listen to him, y'all. I do no, not have I'm that many songs. I'm telling it. I'm telling everybody. I got at least five <laughs> songs. He's Really? I just started rapping. He doesn't a, know what he's talking about. better put a about. zero behind that. He got 50 songs on the hard drive. This Boy, dude right here man. has got about 50 songs on my hard drive that he hasn't released. <laughs> Taking up space, just sitting there. Don't do that, man. Yeah, I said it. Look, okay, 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 okay. Move on to the next topic <laughs> before CJ makes me cry. Cry? Long, long story <laughs> Do some push-ups or something. Yeah, I'm too skinny for that, man. All right. That's why you do push-ups, man. I, mean, I don't like getting bulky, though, man. What do you mean you don't? Look, Moving on. Anyways, so, like I said, I don't even know where I was at with it. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, yeah, I got hella music ready, man. So, mm -hmm. it's, it's not going to stop. Like, even if I don't decide to drop an album, I can give them single at the same. What I was going to do, I was just going to sneak up on you one day. Oh, not literally sneak up, but what nah. I was going to do is I was going to pick... 10 songs and just drop it i was going to do that yeah i was going to do that <laughs> if, okay if I've, done, I've done i've only done that to one artist mm -hmm. just one mm -hmm. and like I, I i showed them the playlist i showed them everything i said all i need is an album, album cover i was gonna say if you do that just shoot me the list of the songs so i can be like all right but i'm for really? real i'm dead ass. you would have did that and just hit me up and be like hey i'm finna drop these i need a cover as long as okay. I'm cool with the songs Okay, you heard it here I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it Do it But just make okay. sure it's nothing from this album though No Okay, cool no. Yeah, Come man, on, I got exactly. everything organized It's cool. me Alright, bet. <laughs> hey, do your thing But hey, like I said You gotta show me the list first I will You said 10? 10 Okay 10. I'm cool with that Y'all okay. heard it if, if if I back out on this Y'all attack me Don't, don't attack mm -hmm. him If I back out Attack me So, I got you That's I have real. over 50,000 people that can back me So, uh Oh, that's hey. <laughs> we coming at you. <laughs> do your thing, dude. Give me the worst treatment possible if I back out. I'm dead serious. All right. All right. All right. But nah, man. I'm cool with that. Yeah. <laughs> I might as well. I mean, because I'm not saying I'm thinking about, you know, of course, like falling off or dying or whatever the f. I know. But I know. Whatever the case may be, if something were to happen, not going to then I'll just want to have my music out there already anyway. So. Gotcha. That's why I've been releasing a lot of music lately since the mm. year started because I'm just like, well, f I've said over and over again about the negativity about the area. I think it's time to say something positive. What I'm gonna say about this area is that at the end of the day, I I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and trash it because I mean obviously I live here, so I got love for the area. Mm -hmm. I got love for the 912 as a whole and everything like that. What I want for everybody out here to do, if you're an artist, businessman, businesswoman, whatever. Just come together. You know what I mean? Like all this senseless violence, all this senseless hating, beefing, old. It's 2021. If we all have the same dream, you know what I mean? So right. why go against each other? What we mm -hmm. need to do is go against them who are trying to ban hip hop or anything like that. Go at trying to shut that down. Right. Don't go at each other because we're all after the same thing. And like I said, at the end of the day, me personally, and this is just me speaking personally, I don't have nothing against nobody out here. But at the end of the day, I just have a problem with everybody being so 
negative negative towards each other right, like right. let's just let's just keep this for the love of music even if business gets thrown involved and i gotta throw yada yada to get you on a verse that's fine but mm -hmm. let's just do this for the love of music not because we want to get popular da da this and that or take his fans and that fans who cares like this is music man this is what makes everybody smile this is what makes everybody come together so let's continue to make that for each other and maybe Hinesville can be a better place that's insightful I agree with you so on that note Elix MC it's been real brother it's been real <laughs> aka Elix Shakur coronavirus <laughs> <laughs> we out <laughs> CJ Warren CJ Warren